So in this video we're going to do the slope, which is m is the slope, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's the formula for the slope. The slope is this how steep a line is, right? A straight line in this case. Usually to calculate the slope you need two points two ordered points, let's say. Let's make that a five instead. So we got two points, right? They come in pairs, x and y. This is my first point because I wrote it out first. This is also another pair, x and y. This is my second point. I can make this point right here my second point if I want. Okay, so the next thing will be is to put into the slope formula. Here it says that you need y2 first, which is 5. Then there seems to be a subtraction. Okay. Then y1, which is 7, divided by, what do we got? x2, which is where? 4. Take away x1, which is 3. And that's equal to 5 take away 7 gives you negative 2. 4 take away 3 gives you 1. And then negative 2 divided by 1 is negative 2. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let make, let's make the points with negatives. And let's not make that a 3. Let's say this is a minus 8 and a minus 1, right? So here's a formula. m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And this is my data point, xy. This one's xy. And just to prove a point, you can use the formula. Let's say this is my second point. This is my first point, OK? Okay, so let's put it into the formula. Y2 says take away 5, subtract, right, because the formula has to subtract. Y1, Y1 is a negative 1. So I'm going to put parentheses there so I know that this is my takeaway sign and of course this is my negative. So they're two separate entities. X2 is negative 3 take away x1 which is negative 8. So we got to be careful making sure we separate our subtraction and our negative number. Okay so two negatives make a what? That's right a positive. So I'm going to rewrite this right two negatives make a positive so that's a positive one. Here are two negatives right here so that's going to make a positive 8 and that's another reason why I put the parentheses there so I can remember to multiply. All right, let's keep going here. Five, negative 5 plus 1, right? If the signs are different, you subtract, right? In this case, it's going to be 4. And you take the sign of the larger one, quote unquote. Um, not necessarily true, but absolute value wise, you, you take the absolute value of the number and whichever is the largest absolute value, then you pick that sign. Um, don't worry if you didn't get that. Let's keep going. Um, negative 3 plus 8, right? If the signs are different, you subtract. 8 take away 3 is 5, okay? And there it is, negative 4 over 5. Okay, then there's other special cases, of course. Let's say we had 3, 4, 7, 4. Let's do that one. This one's x, this one's y, this one's x, this one's y. This is my first point, this is my second point. Our formula is m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's see what we can do with this. Okay, so y2 is 4, take away y1 which is 4, divided by x2, x2 
x to the 7, take away x1, x1 is 3. Okay, this is equal 4 take away 4, hmm, that's 0, over 7 take away 3, 7 take away 3 is 4. So what's this? What's 0 divided by 4? That seems to be a very good question, and we're going to spend a little time on this. <clears throat> if you have a box, right, let's say you had a pizza or something, and it's square, and you have four pieces and you eat one of them, right? Well, you just ate one-fourth, right? Let's say you had a round pizza and it was cut into three large slices and let's say you ate two of them, that means you ate two out of three. That makes sense. So, the question here is zero over four it seems like there was four slices, but you didn't have any. You had four slices, but you didn't have any. So that means this is zero, right? So this answer is zero. Okay. So zero divided by a number is going to give you zero. All right, let's try another one. Let's try something like negative 3, 4, negative 3, 8. And this is x, y, x, y, right? And this is the first one, this is the second point. And we are going to write the slope. m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so y2 is 8, take away y1, which is 4, over x2 is what, negative 3, take away x1, which is negative 3. Okay, so let's look what we got. We have 8, take away 4, over, again, two negatives make a positive, so negative 3 plus 3. 8 take away 4 is going to be 4 over 0. So that's going to be interesting. So it says right here that you start with nothing and you ate 4 pieces? Mm, that doesn't make any sense. This one's undefined. Okay. So doing the slope you're going to need the formula, and you're going to need two points.